If you have scrolled through social media today, you might have seen these pictures. They're of the students and the teachers killed inside Robb Elementary. You may have also seen an article by the Washington Post released today. It includes crime scene photos and firsthand accounts of survivors and first responders from 11 different mass shootings where an AR-15 was used. Some of the most graphic images coming from classrooms 111 and 112 at Robb. There were also photos from the First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs, where 26 people were killed in 2017. I want to make something clear now. We here at KSAT are not going to be sharing the images or describing them out of respect to the families. And in honoring their wishes, Lee Waldman explains the intention from the victim's families in sharing different photos today. It's no secret that what happened inside Robb Elementary was horrifying. 19 children and two teachers killed. Today, nearly a year and a half after the Uvalde school massacre, we're seeing some of what was left behind in the Gudman's wake in an article published by the Washington Post with graphic pictures included. Many of the families of those victims sharing tributes to their loved ones on social media today to make sure they're remembered as they were before their deaths. Stephen Garcia sharing a photo of his daughter Ellie, writing, don't relive it. Just keep walking forward with us. Thank you. Lives Rob, the nonprofit started by some of the families, shared a video of the 21's photos sharing, this is how we choose to remember our loved ones. Amory Joe's mom, Kim Garcia, sharing a picture of her daughter smiling and the caption, my beautiful, sassy, caring, artistic, protective, blunt, but sweet, sweet girl. You are so loved and I want you to always be remembered as that. Irma Garcia's photo was shared by her sister Marissa, who wrote she wants Irma to be remembered for her kindness and love. Maite's mom shared her photo with a green heart the day before her heavenly birthday and wrote, when life was perfect. And finally, the mother of A.J. Martinez, one of the survivors of Room 112, who was hurt in the shooting, asked for their kids to be remembered too, because they hurt every day, especially being there in those moments. While the images shared by the Post today are graphic, Brett Cross, Uzziah Garcia's guardian, says people cannot look away from what happened on May 24th. See the, the, the real, the true reality of what these mass shootings are, because yes, you see it on the news and, oh, it, it doesn't happen here, but it, it does. Cross says he'll still share other pictures of Uzziah smiling like the other families are, but wants people to know that's not what Uzziah's last moments were. <laughs> it plays over in my mind all the time. He wasn't smiling. He didn't look like he did in these pictures. He was terrified. The Washington Post did let the families of the Robb Elementary victims and survivors know the photos were coming out today before they were released, just like they did with the other families of the 10 mass shootings they covered. They also released an additional article sharing the discussion behind the release of these photos. Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.